Hello students. Today we're going to talk about uh, the scenes feature in Blender. That's this little drop down up here. Um, scenes allow us to reuse assets multiple times for different animated scenes, just like it sounds. Um, you know, in the real world, if you've got actors on a set, you don't throw away and then reconstruct the set or, or uh, to put it a little more in digital terms, you don't make a copy of the set every time you stop the cameras and then start them again. Um, so scenes allow us basically to kind of construct our, our setting, our scene, and reuse it. Um, so we've got our set put together here. Basically we've got LinkedIn assets, a uh, house, a little uh, pavilion, gazebo, our boat, our pond, everything here is uh, ready to animate in and it even has some built-in animations you can see for instance the flag on the house moves a little bit if we move our timeline um, we're ready to bring our characters in to link them in and to start animating but first it might be a good idea to sort of set ourselves up with uh, some different scenes. Some of these things are never going to change in the course of our short film. Uh, for instance, these trees, they don't need to go anywhere. The boat doesn't really need to do anything. The flag can just kind of sit there idly waving in the breeze. The house, all these things are going to stay the same. So I've got them set up once and if I want to set them up for multiple uses then I can actually come up here for instance, I can name, instead of just the generic name of scene, I can call this scene 01. And um, that allows me to uh, sort of know what I'm looking at, what I'm going to animate within there. Um, I've got this create new icon here. If I pull this down, I've got several options. The first one is just, you know, let me just for demonstration let's be showing our render settings here but the first option is just new so if I click new you can see my render settings changed first of all this just went back to straight defaults uh, render engine is EV it's just a blank scene nothing special about it I can start construction from the ground up um, that's not really what we need here so I'm going you can see this one just adopted the generic name of scene so I can hit the X here to delete it we don't actually need that and we're back to scene one uh, my next option under create new is to copy settings and that does essentially the same thing just creates a blank scene but it copies my previous settings so we're on the same render engine as we were on now we're on GPU compute same number of samples uh, you know, if I've specified a different number of light bounces or anything here, then uh, those settings will be copied over, but that's all. So I'm going to delete that now. Uh, next under uh, my create new options is linked copy, and this is the one that we'll probably use the most often. Um, and to create a linked copy, basically, um, just it's exactly what it sounds like so we've made a copy of our set except all of our assets are linked with the um, scene that we copied from in essence so if I grab this tree for instance and I decide to move it in the y-axis I want it over here now and I go back from scene 01.001 and I go back to scene 1 then you can see that that tree has moved in both of them. It's linked. Um, so that has its uses of course but it might also get a little bit obnoxious. Um, so I'm going to go back to our copied scene here and I'm going to delete it. We're back to just our one initial scene um, and I'll show you one more option that will probably be the one that we use the most. And that is that um, if I just come up here and I decide to copy settings, okay, we, we've got all of our render settings copied over, but we're in a blank scene now. And I go over here to my scene properties, then this allows me to specify a background scene. So if I pick scene 01 as my background scene, 
then suddenly my scene is populated with everything from scene 01 but I can't select it it's not linked it's just background uh, it's really just there for looks and if things had animated properties for instance the flag or if there was a particle system or something that was animated there, those animations are still in place. But I can't change them from here. So all I can really do is just use this as a background. And that allows me to focus just on the foreground characters that I'm animating. Um, and that's probably going to be the handiest use of things here. Uh, so I hope that helps um, with kind of a brief introduction to scenes and how they work and how to use them and I hope everyone is having a great day.